I went on a mission to upgrade my Roblox development skills. I decided to code the jewelry store from Roblox Jailbreak. I'm a terrible animator, modeler, but I'm not bad at programming. While I did run into lots of bugs, I leave it up to you, the viewer, to decide if my jewelry store was a buggy mess or a successful release. Let's get into it. Okay, so in Jailbreak, the premise of the game is that you're a prisoner and you need to escape and go rob things and go make lots of money. So you break out of prison, you go and rob places. One of those places is the jewelry store. You touch the red X, the glass opens up. You crawl inside, you avoid the lasers because they hurt you. And so you have to punch the glass to get money. And then you have to escape multiple floors of lasers. And there's some moving lasers, there's some stationary lasers, but you just keep on making your way up to the next floor. After you have survived the J store breakout, you gotta go and turn your money in somewhere. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna program all of this into Roblox Studio. So when I'm starting out writing code, I like to start from the very beginning of the activity. So we're gonna start with like entering the JSTOR and we're gonna have to build like an, a building that we can actually enter to begin with. Now that the build is not even close to complete, let me show you guys what I intend to do. Okay, so going in game, here's the shell of our jewelry store. And um, right now I have the entry points kind of unanchored. So this is where we're gonna enter right in there. There we go, you can see it moving. We'll be able to go in right here. Okay, so what we're gonna do is when the character runs into this block, we're gonna have something print out in the console here that says that whatever part is touching it, well, you'll see. So wrote a quick script with a function. We touch the detector block, all of the walls should get destroyed. Let's see if it works. So we have our first error and I don't even know what this means. <laughs> Perfect, let's go run in. Let's see if we get our walls deleted. Boom, walls are deleted. It only prints once, right hand, and now we can get into the J store. We don't have a crawl yet. So on the on the keyboard, on controller, like we press C on controller, there's probably a button for it, but uh, we need to be able to crawl. So that's the next thing we need to code. So the first thing we have to do is make an animation. I'm not the greatest builder. I'm not the greatest animator. So we're gonna have lots of fun with this. Yeah, there we go. Looks kind of like swimming, but it's on the ground. Let's see if it like makes us move. Okay, so let's press C. My animation goes. I could. <laughs> Why are you crawling like that, bro? <laughs> How did this happen? <laughs> so I think we're gonna keep it like that for fun. So let's go ahead and crawl up to the detector block. Good, the jewelry store's open. <laughs> so once we touch this det detector block, that block behind it should get deleted. So if we do that, oh, it <laughs> it deleted the wrong one. <laughs> So let's try this again. So we'll go run up, we'll touch this detector block. It should delete the, yep, got it. It deleted the block behind it. And so now we should be able to just crawl on through here. Come on, come on, then we go get to jump slightly and we can. <laughs> let's, try, let's try out the other side. So we'll go over here, we'll see to crawl and boom, we open that side. Can we get in? Can we, oh, we got in, okay. <laughs> Another thing that Jailbreak has that we definitely need in this game, especially for the J store, is shift to sprint. So let's go ahead and get that in as well. So let's see if we got that working. So now if I press shift, it doesn't work. <laughs> so let's go back to the documentation and it looks like I spelled walk speed wrong. All right, let's press shift and there we go. We're running fast. And when we release shift, we should run normal. There we go, perfect. So I believe the next thing we need in here are jewelry cases. How exactly are we gonna make a diamond? I guess it would have to be like a corner wedge, wouldn't it? Okay, looks like we have the bottom half of the diamond. So let's take all these corner wedges, duplicate them, and then rotate them a whole 180 degrees, bring it on up, and that should make us our weird looking diamond. So now I should be able to shift. I should be able to crawl. I mean, I should be able to sprint. I should be able to crawl. I should be able to walk up to this and this part break open. Okay, and then there's our jewelry cases, which the jewelry cases are way too small. And now we also need to be able to punch these cases. So we need an F to punch. Cool, all right, so we've got a punch. 
Not a very hard punch. I, like I said, I'm not the best at animating. Okay, let's see if my punching works. First, let's crawl. Let's get in there. And then let's start punching. Hiya! 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 Alternating punches. But next, we need these glass to break and it to give us diamonds and cash and be good to go. So now if we walk up to the glass and our right hand touches, nothing should happen. But if we're punching, the glass should break. So if I'm punching and I run up, then it works. Punching and run up works. So perfect. It detects it. We're good to go. So humanoid has a take damage function, which we can assign damage values to it. So let's go ahead and do that. Okay, so if we just run up and touch this, we shouldn't die immediately. It should damage us every one second. Let's see. Okay, there it is. Definitely moving in the wrong direction, but let's see if it touches us. Oh my gosh, yeah, it wrecks us. So yeah, that's... <laughs> After fixing numerous bugs and continuing to build, it was time to finally put this thing to the test on someone else besides myself because I got so tired of jumping over lasers. Hence, we sent Ashley in as the guinea pig. Oh, look at that. <laughs> it opened for me. Oh, I'm in. No, no, oh no, oh no. Oh no, oh no, 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 no. Oh no, oh no, oh no. No. Speeding! Oh no, I forgot about the lasers everywhere! Lasers! Lasers! Oh no! <laughs> okay, everyone, the game is officially released. However much money you make will be saved, and uh, when you log back in, your money will be restored. So the first thing you'll need to do is run up to one of these red X's to get the jewelry store open. You won't be able to walk through the doors here. The glass will break for you. You can press C to crawl on the keyboard. You can press F to punch and you can press left shift to run slightly faster. So now to break a jewelry case, you just press F and it should give us diamonds, a little duffel bag and $1,000. And then you can't get more than that. I haven't programmed more than that. So you can just break them, get your jewelries, go run up the ramp and you're gonna have to try and escape these lasers. So take it slow, take your time and survive. Because every time you get hit by a laser, it'll show sort of like a red um, particle emitter to indicate that you took damage. So here we go. If you guys really liked this, press the like button and don't forget to check the link down in the description in order to access the game. So this next part is even harder. You actually have to crawl down to not get damaged by that laser. And I am about to get wrecked. So let's just keep going here and see if we can survive. And we did. So after you get out, you're gonna have to jump off of this ramp over here and go onto that green pad to turn on, turn in your money. So my money should go from 4,000 to 5,000. So let's jump on down and boom. Also, there is a little surprise if you try to reach the end of the world, something I just threw in there so that way people don't try to run off the edge or anything. And then uh, before you guys play, you can like train over here. I have a little training ground so that way you can crawl and stuff. And then uh, you can like get damaged by these lasers or you can play jump rope here, whatever you guys want and just go ahead and practice your skills before you take on the actual jewelry store. Good luck to all of you. Again, the access to this game is down in the description. There's a link to the game. Click it, access it, play it, and have fun.